It was May of 2010. I was stationed at Buckley Air Force Base in Colorado. In the top of the fifth inning, I had gone up to hit and had hit a shot between the bag and the shortstop. And I knew I needed to beat the throw, but instead of running through the bag, I decided to reach out. And when I did, the back of my cleat got stuck in the dirt. My toes were on the bag and my leg was in full extension with my body still coming. I felt every single part of my leg break, snap, tears, all of it. I ended up undergoing limb salvage for about four and a half years. And so it was multiple surgeries trying to heal the injury, trying to recover. And then finally, we just got to the point where there was nothing else that they could do. Right before the amputation, I was at the point of suicide. And so I told the doctors, like, there's no other options. Like, it, you need to cut it off. We were at Fisher House for about a year and a half. They were very supportive of my wife and daughter. And that was one thing that brought comfort to me, being all the way down to Richmond. I didn't have to worry about their needs. Whenever they walked in, do you need anything? Is there anything we can get you? Heather, I can't believe you did that. Look, you're walking when she first got a when prosthetic. I started walking, I've, I've it's never like your first seen step. people jump up. And it's one of the greatest feelings. It's somebody that you never knew before that, but they've only known you since you became an amputee. So being able to see you walk again was like watching a kid take their first steps. So it was a lot yeah, of fun. We made a lot of great, great family. It wasn't just friends, they were family. Fisher House was a godsend for us. It's like you're in your darkest moments. You don't know where you're going to turn or anything. And there's just like this little glimmer of hope. And it's like there's a hand that's pulling you out of that darkness. <laughs> now I find passion and I find love in the things that I used to have and new things. Because a lot of the sports that I do now, I'd never experienced before I got hurt. Now I ride um, hand cycling for the Achilles International Freedom Team. I play softball with the Wounded Warrior Amputee Softball Team now. A lot of doctors will sit there and tell you, you'll never walk again, you'll never run again, you won't play ball again. But honestly, your limit is what you put on your own self. 